Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for March 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. <clears throat> All right, the overall energy for the reading, the full. That's a great energy right there because you look to be open to something here in a particular direction that looks to be very, very exciting. So let's see. <laughs> Um, in the recent past, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, you've been struggling with something here tied up to your uh, stability. Could be something around homes, where something's happening, finances, something. There's a little bit of struggle, a little bit of stressing about that. A little bit, a lot. In the current situation, the Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands. Interesting, because what opens you up here in a particular direction seems to be something that in the past you were like nah nah so you're coming from a place of i'm not gonna go in that direction into a place of well i could try it out that kind of looks fun so i don't know if you changed your perception over it or i don't know what happened there but definitely a changing of mind here over something in the uh, immediate future, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Something feels really, really nice here. There's a soul connection involved here, which doesn't have to mean romance. It could mean, you know, maybe you're partnering up with someone over something and things are going great here. I have no idea. But it's looking like you're stepping into some sort of a partnership here. And it's moving forward in quite the nice way. So, okay, let's clarify. Let me do the full. You get the Two of Swords, the Justice card, the Ten of Swords. You're coming in with a lot of stress over something here. So even though you're opening up to something from maybe a sense of curiosity more than anything, you're bringing all of the stress that was built up in here of whatever you've experienced here, that stress isn't cleared out. You're taking it with you, unfortunately. Um, I don't think you want to take it with you, but it's coming with. So it could be that that stress is actually pushing you into trying something that in the past you didn't... Nah, I'm not gonna... Nah. You know? Ten of Wands in the recent past. You get the Seven of Pentacles, the Death card, the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you've been trying all sorts of things here. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe you're not open to that though? to trying or implementing all sorts of things to something. Maybe you did things a certain way and then an energy of what if you try to do the same thing, but you know, open up to more things to add on there or something. Cause I see you now, I'm not gonna do that, which made the situation quite stagnant almost and unproductive maybe eventually but i see you pushing through yeah i kind of get the sense that you get you got stuck in there with something maybe surrounding work or a project hello boo what's going on you woke up that's not good i mean it is good but it's not good because i gotta take you out and i'm in the middle of a reef well i don't gotta take you out i just gotta let you out in the backyard uh, for the Ten of Pentacles, you get the Four of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords. Um, very 
upset here. I'm very... Oof. Man, I, I feel like you had a rough patch in here. And I don't know if it's only you that's been experiencing this. If you had someone else tied up with you and they're in that energy of stability, ew, it could have caused a lot of conflict and there are a lot of not great energies. Very upset, very disappointed you're showing up here. But I do feel like you overcame that. Yeah, it took a lot away from you and from this situation you were dealing with, but... I feel like slowly but surely you started coming out of that swirl of stress. Uh, still there a little bit, but not, not as intense. For the Nine of Swords, you get the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, definitely coming out of it. Not completely. There's still a little bit of it. There's still some uh, lingering energies from that that you have with you here as you are slowly but surely coming out of that tornado of worries okay okay let me do the seven of wands in the current situation the ace of pentacles the king of pentacles the three of swords yeah something you didn't but i still see you with this situation so whatever it is that you're changing your mind about, I still see you in the past looking at it, so acknowledging that, okay, this is an option, why don't you do this? And then you're like, no, I'm not gonna do this. Um, it looks like you're bending there. It looks like you may give it a shot, but it pains you to do so. It's almost like, mm -hmm. like I really don't want to, you know? I don't know. You're starting to bend in that direction. Let me do the Wheel of Fortune in the current situation. The Six of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Lovers. I don't know. It feels like the energy itself over whatever it is that you're bending towards straighten up too a lot. You know, not completely. There's still work to be done there, but it feels like that energy that you're leaning more and more towards, uh, there seems to be an energy of balance over it. Uh, where, I don't know, it didn't look this good, you know, a while ago, but now it is. Um, where it's looking better, at least. Okay, let me do the page of wands, where it feels like your perception over it is ultimately shifting. For the page of wands, you get the knight of wands, the judgment card, the nine of cups. Yeah, feels really, really good. By the time you decide, okay, I'm doing this, you're starting from almost like someone is, you know, dragging you into war or something to, oh my God, this looks so good. Let's go do it, you know, and it's happening quite fast. It could be that there's an aha moment there in the middle that shifts you from that place to this place of, okay, we're doing this. You're actually super excited about it. Yeah, your perception changed like overnight over something here. For the Nine of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, the Tower. Feels really, really good. I don't know what the hell this is that you're shooting for eventually. But it feels really, really nice. And it has to do with another person, too. Um, so, I don't, again, I, if, if this is work, you could be partnering up with someone. If this is love, you could definitely partnering up with someone. I don't know. Um, what is this tower? I kind of get the sense that this tower comes in as when you start seeing the results of whatever this is, it kind of shocks you of how good it is you know because it looks really really nice and then you're like wow like, whoa you know whereas you started off from a place of not even thinking about that direction and then you're ending it in a place of i didn't expect for this to, to turn out like this you know, for the Six of Cups, you get the Fool, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. This is the part where as exciting as it is in the beginning, and as it goes along, at some point it looks a little... Um, 
someone's taking this for granted. It could be you, could be you, could be whoever you're dealing with, could be the both of you. You're taking it as, okay, now it's a given. You know, it's falling from the place of, oh my God, into, okay, it's a given, it's, it's here, it's nice, cool, cool. Okay. Let's do the Knight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is definitely a passage through this energy in the sense of it starts from a place of uh, bringing up all sorts of emotions for you, which is telling me you're definitely connected to your heart, that you're experiencing these emotions, and then it becomes a little robotic, a little... As you start getting these energies of it's a given, it definitely has a chance to fall more and more into a place of uh, monotony, I would say, like like a little bit... Yeah, okay. Like a... Yeah, okay, so we're waking up today, we're doing this, we're like taking it for granted completely, you know? Um, so I would possibly suggest somewhere along the line here as you proceed on this path, because it does feel like it's taking you to where you need to go, like in a, in a very good place, um, to try to remind your, yourself to stay connected to your heart, to actually feel how good this experience is, because it is. It's feeling that way energetically, at least. Um, but if you take it from that place of disconnecting from your heart and how you truly feel about it, it may seem even boring at some point. Or, yeah, I'm doing it because I have to. When, in fact, you're actually quite engaged with it, energetically speaking. But if you're not staying connected to it, you're not going to feel that anymore. Quite the opposite. So... Try to remind yourself through this one. And it feels so fast, like you're going from one stage to another. It's like this kind of thing would happen in a couple of years or something. You're showing it to me in like five days. I'm like, no, nah, it's not going to happen in five days where you go from one energy to another like this. It's just feeling like it's fast, though. Let me see the universe for you as a final advice. The Four of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Also, as you embark in this... Oh, maybe that's the problem. As you embark on this new journey here, try to be aware of the energies you're bringing with. Because as I said, there's still some lingering energies from the past situation where something stressed the hell out of you. And even though it feels like you're partly cleared of those energies, there's still some around that you're taking with. And it could be that maybe that's why you're getting to this place too. Maybe those energies could have that influence of keeping you blah, 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 you know, about it. So, yeah, keep yourself open to the significance of, because it feels like the minute you step onto this new path here, your life changes completely for the better, where you're coming from a place of, you struggled a little bit there, I don't know what happened, but this one looks good. So keep yourself connected to it as much as possible. Because otherwise it'll just become bland for some reason. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.